Hi, Rosario, and thank you for joining me for this part one of a three-part series about security. And before we get into the nitty-gritty here with these questions, would you mind giving me a quick introduction to you and your role? Yes. Hi, Tyler. I'm a solution consultant with SVA Software, and I work with customers to help them get to their optimizations and SLA levels in their infrastructure environment. So you're with SVA, and SVA has always been a leader in empowering IT infrastructure. But you're here today to talk about a specific cause of headaches for IT leaders, right? Right. I'm here to talk about security. And security is on everyone's minds for important reasons, right? And mm -hmm. SVA Software is partnering with or with companies that help that will help organizations and our prospects with their security with their cybersecurity journey as they start and continue and expand on that and i would like to mention that we're excited that we've partnered with roomcast and next yeah. Systems. but i'll talk about that in a little bit a little bit later <clears throat> Exactly. And I'm excited to learn more. And I'm sure everybody joining us on this video is excited to learn more. But could you tell me a little bit more about some of the challenges that IT security teams are currently facing? Yes. As we've engaged with more uh, organizations, they've shared with us that they're struggling with the area of the front line of defense. Mm -hmm. And they shared about other struggles as well as they continue and start their cybersecurity journey. But before we do that, I want to share with you some information that when I learned this, I was blown away. Did you know that it takes about 21 days for an organization to recover after they've been hit by a ransomware attack? Hmm. It's not minutes, but days. Wow. Yes. And it takes about 70 days for them to be able to contain contain that. It's when I heard about this, I was I was blown away. Yeah. Yeah, but going back to those struggles that security leaders have shared with us. So they as they continue their journey, they've shared with us that first of all, they are struggling to meet that and defend against attackers. Um, and have that strong line of defense. And they, are, they want to be able to help and enable their teams to be able to tackle those tasks and be proactive. But they struggle to find the right tools to do that, to enable them to work in a diligent way and more efficiently. And second, how to guard and reduce their attack surface when, they're, when they have diverse environment, a diverse IT infrastructure environment. So they have, for example, on-prem infrastructure as well as cloud and environments running in containers. So that's where they struggle the most. Um, and let's say they find out that they have been breached, their critical data has been touched. How to best uh, go through that incident response and have the right tools to help them do that in detecting where the intrusion has taken place and also containment and respond to that in an efficient way. Okay, well, that's interesting. So what are businesses doing to counteract those issues? Like, I imagine it's difficult for teams to secure that first line of defense. Right, it can be very difficult. And a lot of them are dealing with this in a manual way manually with designated personnel that can take away from other main tasks uh, because going through and trying to figure out what these common vulnerabilities are that are pertaining to the environment it can be tedious in going through all of these sources for yeah. example for different operating systems for the hypervisor etc and i would like to note that over 90 percent of these security vulnerabilities are already documented However, going through that, like I mentioned, through all that documentation, figuring out what applies specifically specifically to the environment can be tedious and can become more of a reactive approach. Right. 90 percent is a lot. I imagine that's changing almost on a daily basis. Exactly. More and more 
security breaches happen on a daily basis and therefore more attacks are increasing right mm -hmm. and <clears throat> but here it is the struggle and the challenge is that how to figure out which ones are the critical ones that the IT team, the security team has to deal with first to then act to mitigate the risk. And <clears throat> that's one of the main challenges as well. And let's not forget that also the this first line of defense that they need to keep in mind also pertains to security standards. So all of these regulations that an organization or business has to comply with or follow um, is also very important. And these are guidelines to make sure that they're following best practices in their configurations in regard to security. Okay. Well, since we're on the topic of time consuming processes, you mentioned that organizations are dealing with security issues manually. Can you touch more on some of the specific challenges that arise when identifying vulnerabilities? Right. It's it's so tedious. As I mentioned, yeah. common vulnerabilities are constantly changing and it never seems to end, right? And yeah. identifying those that are specific and applied to the their your environment is is a challenge. And and in talking about standards now, also as time goes by, there seems to be a, an increase in regulatory compliance that businesses need to adhere to. So that also can be a challenge. For example, the finance, financial institutions and any, any business that deals with credit card payments have to follow the PCI mm -hmm. DSS standard. Mm -hmm. In the health industry, they have to, they need to follow HIPAA. Right. Also, the utility companies are highly regulated and they need to follow and practice these guidelines, not one standard, but several of them. For example, ISO, NIST are a few of them. Mm -hmm. So then what, what comes next? Like what's the next step, I guess? Right. Well, automation. So automation is okay. key. It's such a time saver and bring it and brings efficiency to the security team. It gives you that it can give them that insight into the the gaps where they stand as far as their compliance, their security levels, so that they can then work on mitigating the risk based on those uh, specific items and re recommendations, right? And so to be able to pass the compliance audit and also auto be able to automate reporting. So when they have to report back to management on their level of compliance. So automation is key. And I also want to emphasize that, let's not forget what I mentioned earlier. How do you guard your, your attack surface or how do you reduce your attack surface basically when you're running in a diverse infrastructure environment? So if you're running on-prem again, hybrid cloud and containerized environments, and that can become a real challenge as well. And we now ask that question. So how do I do that? How is it, how, what tools are out there? Right. Well, or what functionalities? Well, the, the answer is simple, a single pane solution that can give you that insight to yeah. the, those both areas, the security vulnerabilities, security standards, and be able to see that across your entire environment. And can solutions with the single pay can help and tackle that in, in a seamless way. Okay. And I just want to make sure I have it right as I'm following along. So yeah. having a platform solution that addresses security current concerns in on-prem infrastructure while also keeping an eye on cloud and containerized environments as well as offer automation can help security teams divert the time saved to other major pending projects. Right, right, because security teams feel overwhelmed. They feel like their days are consumed going through these yeah. tasks, right? And again, giving you that visibility to reduce the attack surface and anywhere in their environment across the different areas in the environment can is key. And I think they can work better together if they have such a solution. Okay, and that's where it all circles back. And Runecast comes into play. Right. That's where Runecast comes in. And Runecast helps reduce the attack surface. 
and be continuously compliant and proactive as the IT environment changes. And Roomcast is easy to implement. Within minutes, it starts scanning and you can have a clear status of the security level in the environment. Most importantly, it can give you those details and recommendations wow. in human readable language, right? And that's that's important. Uh, so how do you think these organizations can move forward in their execution of cybersecurity practices and defend against a data breach? Do you think they're focusing enough on prevention or do you also need to focus on mitigation and incident response? Okay. Right. So as organizations focus in on that first line of defense, I believe that they also they need to focus on the area of incident response. And that's where they shared with us that they struggle as well, specifically mm -hmm. in when we talk about incident response, specifically in the areas of detection and containment. Right. And when they are faced with the finding out that their data has been breached when their critical data has been touched manipulated and stolen how can they seamlessly and rapidly detect first of all where the intrusion took place all of the detect indicators of compromise any traces and for that what the procedure that uh, it usually is executed or needs to be executed is a compromise assessment across the different endpoints, right? And organizations can have hundreds or even thousands of endpoints. So how to easily go through and scan those endpoints, obtain all that data, and then be able to analyze it. So that's a compromise assessment. To then be able to contain, right? Contain the attack uh -huh. because now they know where the intrusion took place. So those are the areas where security leaders struggle to find, um, like I mentioned, the right tools. Okay. And then, so the, the solution then would be Thor from Nextron. Yes, Thor, the APT scanner from Nextron Systems and the management solution can help with <clears throat> going in automating and helping streamline the continuous compromise assessment through hundreds or even thousands of endpoints to detect any traces of compromise from the moment that it obtains that data. And also it looks at traces that have passed, have occurred in the past to be able to really determine where the intrusion took place or any um, security breaches that they need to tackle and then be able to execute the containment with um, their ability to run default playbooks that come with a, with mm -hmm. a solution or you can customize your own to then execute the incident response. Okay, that's all really interesting and not to toot our own horn, but it sounds like SVA's really put together a comprehensive partner solution when you sort of break it down like you have. Um, as we finish up, is there anything else that you'd like to add? Yes, yes. And I would like to say that as we continue to engage with organizations, SVA software now feels that they can help because we partner with companies that offer solutions to secure that key environment to help them advance in their journey. That's key. And that's why we're excited again to say that we've partnered and share that we partner with Roomcast and Nextron Systems. And <clears throat> Roomcast, first of all, to detect that uh, those vulnerabilities and security standards, make sure that you're following that anywhere in where you're running your workloads. And with Thor from Nextron Systems to help dig deeper to detect hackers and basically find the needle in the haystack so then the team can have the insight to proceed with the containment and execute the incident response in an effective way to be able to avoid further impact and propagation of malicious activity. And I want to end with this, Tyler. So it's no longer a matter of if, but a matter of when an organization will suffer a security attack. And therefore, it's important to stay secure beyond the breach. I really like that. You, you've said that to me before, and I'm glad you brought it up here because I feel like it's a great tagline. Secure beyond the breach. And Rosario, I really appreciate your time, obviously your expertise. 
I'm looking forward to part two. We're doing that soon. Um, I really enjoyed our chat. Yes. And just a sneak peek of part two, we will be sharing with you about how your security team can have all of this of the IT recovery steps relate, related to security organized efficiently with an interactive runbook. I'm really looking forward to that. And until then, thank you again. All right. Bye. Thank you, Tyler. Bye.